the people. Part two. Oh, let me turn my little thing. Uh. Okay, so this is uh, I know my head's cut off. You don't need to see my head. Um. Uh, and here I have some gloves in this little front patch. I bought this kit as a kit. I don't remember what it was. I just added a few things, like my pen light uh, on the back. Uh, and here I added some hemostats and a pair of scissors. Uh, a few band-aids and things back here. And then in the middle, it's got some pre-sealed package that probably has a packing list. Uh, compound gauze. It actually doesn't give the full packing. Oh, maybe it does. Uh, a tourniquet, compression gauze, compression bandage, compact, compact wound seal, and a pair of nitrate gloves. So all that has been sealed in this little plastic bag. So I haven't opened that. That's pretty much I left in there. I added the uh, nasal tube in case I have blocked airway, of course, with the lube. If you don't have lube, uh, you can spit on that to make it slippery to get it in. Obviously, lube's better, but in a crisis, a couple of tam or a couple of uh, uh, Kotex, one little thing, a quick, quick clot. I kind of heard different things on this quick clot. Uh, some are saying they're they're not very popular anymore. They're not using a lot because it's a chemical compound, and once you put it in, it's very hard to get it out in order to clean the wound. Now, obviously, between living and dying, you're going to use it, but uh, it's not a first go-to uh, if you've got direct pressure and you can stop it by that way. Uh, then I have a couple of uh, tampons in there, and that's it for the inside of here. So that's pretty much my, uh, oh yeah, and I have some of those uh, stirring strips, S-T-E-R-I-P, no, S-T-E-R-I strip, uh, 3M. And uh, so that, that's pretty much uh, this little kit here. Um, and I'm okay with this little kit. Uh, and by all means, look, I'm not saying I'm Mr. First Aid Expert here. Anybody got some good ideas, something that I'm missing, or that I skipped, or that I should have and I don't, or why you don't think I should have what I have, uh, by all means, chime in. Uh, I, I like this to be educational and learning, and if, you know, if we can learn from each other, that's what YouTube was originally for before it turned into a social experiment to push their agenda, but uh, this little thing packs in pretty freaking tight. Um, but... If you can get it in, <laughs> about a dollar a time somebody said, Rick, you can't all be quiet. Good grief. I was just listening to a song before I uh, started this video. Great song. Anybody wants a good song that will probably bring back. I love girls in little sexy dresses. I mean, that's always been my downfall. If I see a, uh, a girl kind of dolled up in a nice little sexy dress. There's a song that says, Talk Her Out of It, and uh, it's a great song to where he talks about, he got the girl all dolled up, and uh, she comes out and like, girl, I love the dress, but all I want to do is talk you out of it. And I was like, man, that's a great song. I love that. <laughs> my motto, man after my own heart. So that's the little bitty first aid kit. I already did this one and repackaged it. Uh, this is probably more complete. Uh, I would like to have this, but it's pretty big to be strapping on and carrying. Uh, this is a little bit more maneuverable. Now, I could put this in a backpack and keep this one on my vest or something, hook it up with my little molly straps or whatever. Uh, this right here is just kind of extra stuff that I have. A couple extra needles, some vet wrap. Uh, the little cloth mask comes with four with a bunch of charcoal filters. Uh, the extra tampons, the extra Kotex. Uh, I'm not sure why I had Vaseline. I think I had some Vaseline here or somewhere. 
Uh, this little strap here is just basically a little film strap that I had. Again, I could use this on a small wrist or something to make a compression bandage and hold something. I just thought it was a nice little uh, something that's light and can do it. Uh, a couple extra, uh, an extra pin, Sharpie, some assortive uh, adhesives and band-aids. Uh, when you order, this is the one that I got on Amazon with two little pin lights. It comes with two, a black and a silver, I think. It's got the pupilometer and it comes in a nice little package with uh, two little extra bulbs and the batteries. Um, and I can't remember if it was 10 bucks or 12 bucks. Pretty good little deal. Uh, if you buy the ones where you can't change the battery, they're cheaper. But I used to carry one of those a cop and every time I needed it, the damn thing wouldn't work. Uh, so anyway, uh, so this is just some extra stuff in here. Uh, to replenish any of my used or if I want to update. And now we'll get into the big bag. Uh, and you know who I think would probably be good to get some feedback on medical stuff is who's that little girl that does the uh, I can't think of her name. She's like a patriot nurse or patriot medic or I don't know. I like her. She's got good videos and I can't think of her damn name. Uh, maybe Maybe I'll try and find it. I think it's Patriot Nurse, now that I think about it. But anyway, she does a lot of combat fields. She's a nurse. I don't know if she's a RN, LBN, uh, whatever it is. Uh, but she would probably have a lot of good stuff. So, this is my bag in the house. This is just kind of like, I used to carry this in the trunk with my patrol car. Because it was my car, so I knew it was mine. So I kept it in there. And of course I have all my scissors, hemostats, cutters, razors, in case I want to take over a plane or something. Uh, this is a gown. Uh, this came in some kit or something, and I just kept it. Not that I would ever wear a gown, but I figured, what the hell, maybe someday, if I'm doing surgery in the basement, I might need it. Uh, a mask. Uh, this is, uh, I, these were on sale for something, and uh, these tools. I got my uh, chest seal in here. Uh, I think these, what is it? Is this the, the liquid or the oil? Surgical blades. Oh no, these are little blades that fit in these surgical instruments in case I want to do surgery. And I forgot what this kit was, but it's got some pretty funky tools. I don't know what I'd use it for. I'd probably work on my car with them more than I could a person. But it's got some pretty cool little tools in it. And uh, you know what? If I'm the only doctor there, guess what? <laughs> Dr. Gore making a house call. Uh, I got some syringes. Uh, uh, the, the tube, these tubes are, I think, four or five bucks each. If you buy three or four, they get cheaper. Um, uh, uh, here's some syringes with needles that I got at the, the horse farm store. If you have any farm or horse store, they always have needles and stuff pretty cheap for horses. They're still sterile. They're different sizes. Uh, I can use them for irrigation. If I want to put oil in it to use it for my gun, I can do that. Uh, there's a lot of uses. So... Uh, this is uh, more surgical uh, strips and blades in case I use up all my other surgical. This is some Benadryl, uh, different little medicines in case I need uh, something that comes out. Uh, tourniquet, uh, I think this is the things you put in your ears. What you, did you listen to heart? I can't even think what the hell you call them. These are extra uh, blades and needles to change. Uh, nose little sucker. Uh, I've got a couple of... Uh, now, I'm not going to pull all this out. Uh, dental floss is good for cutting or tying for small. Uh, lotion, sanitizer, I got some needles in here. Got a magnifying glass in case I need to see something that I can't see. Working with tweezers. Uh, obviously, I have the vet wrap. I have plenty of gloves. Um, another magnifying glass, I think. I thought this was a magnifying glass, yeah. Uh, hell, I'll probably put that one in a car because I don't have one in that one. And I've got this big one in here, so I don't need to. Uh, what else I got in here? Another tourniquet, a, a, a large respirator mouse, a mask, I think, for blowing something up. Uh, not blowing up like other stuff, YouTube. These are ammonia tablets, uh, maxi pads. 
uh, another magnifying glass, uh, tampons, uh, matches, uh, Israeli badges, compress badges, uh, what the hell else I got? Just a syringe for water for irrigation. I can just, no needle. I can just irrigate something and squirt or clean something out, suck some blood, suck something out. Uh, could come in handy. Uh, what do I got over here? Tell I don't go through here a lot. Uh, this is a long tube with a, a large uh, forcing. I could use this for siphoning or sucking something out. I got some compresses. Got some of those uh, strips. Uh, got my uh, stethoscope. That's what it is. I got another stethoscope in there. Uh, let's see. I think there's a blood pressure cuff in one of these. I don't use a lot of this stuff. I used to, but uh, what's over here? I think this is my blood pressure cuff. It is. Blood pressure cuff. And a couple other syringes. Uh, a couple other irrigation tubes. These are what I give my horses their vet medicine for, but you clean them out and you can measure how much is in there. It's got a nice big opening to irrigate or to suck uh, something out of it. So I clean these up and I just put them in here in case I need them. And uh, I think that's it for my big kit. So, uh, hey, uh, you know what? If you could use it or may need it or might need it, eh, it's good to go ahead and uh, fix that. And uh, if not, teach his own. I forgot who sent me that cup. Whoever sent it, if you're watching still, if you don't hate me, people send me stuff and they'll later they hate me. So, <laughs> whoever sent me that, if you're still watching, thanks. <laughs> if you hate me, ah, oh, well, screw you. Thanks for the cup. So, uh, anyway, that is First Aid by Rick. Uh, not really First Aid. First Aid kits, equipment, things to have, things you might want to consider. Uh, put in the comments other things. If the list... Uh, what I'll try to do is I'll make a list of all this and uh, any other good items that people put in the comments I'll add to the list and uh, this will be part two of the medical kit or, or developing your medical kit or filling your medical kit or getting medical whatever it is and uh, we'll end that there hopefully you got something out of it and uh, the couch looks good with their new accessory don't you think come on people alright we'll end that there <laughs>